good morning students so today uh, we are going to study about uh, your english first unit uh, the first is today subject we are going to read is english the first unit that is the prose so whatever whenever we go to the lighthouse so there is a preparatory activity okay there is a preparatory activity the first a discussing phase what are some of the useful inventions made by scientists how useful are these inventions so you could just imagine so the inventions which are made by scientists uh, they gave much uh, helpful more for our lives so the if we compare our ancient uh, period and nowadays what we are living the modern lifestyle just imagine what are the differences we can find uh, the in our households we can see the fan the mobile the television so everything are the inventions made by the scientist so these are make it our life easier so these things that we must think about what would our life be like without inventions discuss how our life will be if we do not have the following so you can speak up in your mother tongue in this um, the electric light have to study in the dark so without electricity maybe uh, whatever we are using nowadays the uh, mixer the television the mobile phones everything will be like the computers so everything will be like uh, the life uh, or the machines without having the life so they just be like empty there is nothing life in them so the electricity the telephone without telephone how could we communicate so whatever messages if we want to Uh, send to a particular person who is staying away from us we can use telephone to communicate with that person the computer so computer is very much essential nowadays so to keep our documents updated to uh, get or to mail a particular thing to send any files from far away uh, to a far away person so for all these things the computer is very much essential so whatever the documents like accounts or your uh, registers everything is being kept in the computer for typing your question papers all these things we use the computers the bicycle <coughs> so bicycle to move from one place to another the bicycle is very much essential so we could not imagine uh, to travel by walk or always we could not able to use the public transport because of the time so this bicycle is helpful for us to travel the short uh, uh, distance 
distance and we can only get a good health by riding the bicycle the next is the television so whatever uh, we can get or the world wide messages uh, that are available through the television the news the cartoons whatever we can see for the entertainment purpose this television is using the medicines so whenever we feel sick or ill sick means not feeling well so whenever we are uh, not feeling well this medicines give or boost our life again back towards the normality so because of that thing we can just think about the medicines which are essential nowadays uh, from the headache till the greater or the uh, big diseases we use this medicines the plastic material <coughs> the plastic is become became a, a integral part of our life right so the dustbins the uh, whatever we use as the pen pots the brush uh, the soap box everything the chairs tables everything are be used the essential thing whenever we forgot to take a cloth bag to a market we always carry a plastic bag so plastic became a integral part of our life the x ray so whenever we visit to a uh, uh, hospital some when our bones or fractures happen to know the essentiality or what was happened exactly the x ray is used or the x ray is be taken from the particular doctors by the insisting of the doctors we go to take our x ray wherever we get the pain so these are the things or these are the inventions which are made our life be travel very easily or in a smooth way if without these inventions our life would be like um, empty right our uh, life would be like if we think of ancestor our ancestors they lived a life of hardship they faced so much of um, difficulties in their lifestyles but nowadays by these inventions inventions means discoveries so by these inventions we are being very much a uh, privileged one to lead this easier life so all these inventions are making our life very easy or to go in a smooth way the second one is make a list of all the words that come to your mind when you hear the word lighthouse read out the list to the class find out who has written the maximum number of words so this is a class activity but now uh, you could do this this at your homes so whenever you see a lighthouse near a beach what are the things that comes to your mind the first one is the beauty of the lighthouse the sparkling light at the top of the lighthouse um <coughs> and the thing is uh you could imagine the uh, smooth atmosphere or the weather beside the sea okay let's come to the uh, prose now the lesson i just read off a first paragraph then i'll explain so like that only i'll going to do now let's read the lesson on the invention and uses of the lighthouse raji and his father madhav were happy very happy that day raji was especially thrilled because his father would take him out on a visit to the lighthouse they started out in the evening by 5 pm and reached the shore by 6 pm madhav pointed out to the lighthouse in the distance it was a tall strong building in the shape of a tower with powerful lights at the top so here we are going to get the invention and the uses of the lighthouse through a boy called rajiv the 
boy who is going to visit visit the lighthouse is rajiv he is going with his father so he is going to with his father to a to see the uh, lighthouse near a seashore what is seashore seashore means the banks of the seas whatever we call uh, whenever we visit to the sea we just like to walk on the seashores because we feel very pleasant with the wet or uh, sand that we imagine by our feet so like that here the raji and his father are going to visit the light lighthouse by evening so they started to walk from their house around 5 pm 5 pm means evening 5 pm and they reached the seashore around 6 pm they traveled or they walked for a hour they walked for a hour from their house and they reached the seashore and they rajiv was very much thrilled thrilled means very excited so <coughs> Uh, whenever a teacher says uh, something interesting to you you feel very much thrilled or when you get any surprise from your father or when your friend says that i am coming to your house for your birthday you feel very much excited and thrilled so what could i get for my birthday right so everyone is uh, very much curious about the surprises they get like that the rajiv is very much thrilled thrilled means very much excited to know about the lighthouse to visit the lighthouse madha the father of rajiv so rajiv and his father madha they go uh, they started to walk from their house and reached the seashore around 6 pm so they the madha rajiv's father pointed to a tall tall strong building a very tall and strong building which looks like a tower full with powerful lights at top so i have already mentioned that it lies tower okay here you can see at this part you can see the powerful lights which can give a guidelines to the sailors so he points to a tall strong building the next paragraph rajiv asked his father papa what is the use of these lighthouses madha said they help the sailors to know where the land is and what place they are near sometimes they are on the seashore and sometimes in the sea they are the places which are dangerous to ships and they help to warn and guide the sailors so here they mentioned the sailors the word sailors what is the meaning of sailors the one person who is going to travel in the sea for his livelihood or for his adventures for his inventions so that person is called as sailors so here these lighthouses are going to help to the sailors uh, which are going to guide the sailors in facing the dangers in making their voyage very easy because whenever these lights you just imagine if power goes at your home you are in hall what is your condition at that time right because you are not able to see anything like that the sailors face such type of condition at the time of night in the sea that why to help those sailors these lighthouses are very much helpful rajiv was curious he said but how do they work so here rajiv was thrilled okay 
uh, these light horses are going to help to the sailors to face the um, dangers that are going to come to them and they can uh, get out of that danger with the help of the lighthouse okay but raja was curious curious thrill or excited or to know something about so here he feels that how could they work how these light horses are going to work so who is going to put light over here who is going to put a button on there so he thinks about all those things there the father answers to the curiosity of his son martha replied modern lighthouses use powerful electric lights so nowadays the modern lighthouses are going to help or they are going to run by the powerful electric lights so you all know about the electric lights whatever we are using in our schools colleges our houses so these lights which are having the powerful capacity to give the light around them so these in this lighthouses